In order to begin conducting your web conferences, you're first going to need to make sure that you have a few pieces of equipment ready and available. Uh, to begin with, you're going to need your computer uh, to conduct your web conferencing on. You're also going to need to make sure that you have a webcam. Most laptops come with a webcam built in. Uh, if you don't have access to a webcam, then that's something that you're going to want to bring up with your dean or you can contact CPD and we can see if we can help you with getting a webcam. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that you have a microphone and generally speaking, we recommend that you use a headset style microphone, kind of like the one I have here. Uh, the benefit of this is that not only will you have uh, the headset on for audio quality, but also the microphones on these usually pick up less background noise than other microphones. So you'll want to make sure that you have that. Um, in addition to the uh, equipment uh, for the web conferencing, you also want to think about things like lighting. Uh, right now, I have two lights that are shining on me that are in front of me uh, to the side of my uh, webcam. And that's helpful because it makes sure that my face is illuminated and people can see me. Uh, the background is not too bright. Uh, and so the end result is that my learners will have no problem seeing me. Uh, going along with that, you want to make sure that the sound quality uh, is going to be decent. Again, that's why we want to make sure that we have a good microphone, but also you want to be in an environment that's not going to be too terribly noisy if you can avoid it. Uh, lastly, uh, you're probably going to be doing some amount of sharing your screen in your web conferences, either to show PowerPoints or virtual whiteboards or collaborative activities or, or maybe showing your Canvas course. And so keep in mind that if you only have a single computer screen available to you, then when you share your screen, you're not going to see your learners anymore. You're going to see whatever you're sharing for them to see. Uh, this problem can be avoided if you've got uh, two screens on your computer. You can have the web conference on one and the thing that you're sharing on the other. Uh, now obviously you may not have all of the equipment to do that, but that's just one thing to bear in mind as you prepare for conducting your web conferences.